Hi everyone, Vlad here for another video. Um, it's 45 degrees out, actually made that 46. Uh, and I was actually on a site visit for a project and I'm drenched. Anyways, it is what it is. Right, let's get right into this one. So, um, the topic today is misconception about house sharing in uh, Dubai. I get a lot of emails uh, from people saying, oh, I got a job in Dubai and uh, I want to move in, I want to go there with my girlfriend. Um, I heard that uh, you can't really you can't really live with someone if you're not married. And so there's so one type of email I get, and the other one is I want to move in with a buddy of mine, you know, obviously to you know, save some money, put some money aside, uh, split the bills, and uh, I heard that in the law it's not it's not really allowed. Right, so this is this is another gray zone of Dubai, it's if not the gray zone of Dubai. That basically, um, actually, this is my disclaimer. This is basically, I, I, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not, I don't work for the government. So this is just my point of view on it. Right, so in the law, you technically, and I say technically, you're not supposed to live with someone. Basically, there's a law that says that you can't really, you can't share your, your apartment or your house with someone else. Right, this law has been, has been in place because they didn't want people to abuse the system, as in people living together, like 20 people in the same apartment or the same house, and have a type of problem like that. The thing is, if they actually enforce that rule, half, if not more than half of Dubai would actually have to leave, because I think I can, I, I can't even count how, how many of my friends or people I know, whether it's work colleagues, friends, or family friends, family, actually lived at one point, with someone else, you know, just basically to, to reduce the cost of living. So the short answer is, well, yeah, I, you could definitely live with someone. Uh, the long answer is, if you, if, you know, if you have neighbors that don't like you for whatever reason, if you made too much noise one night, if you're being rowdy or you're throwing parties all the time and whatnot, and actually just want to build a case against you, well, they actually can, and and, and that's that's the, like the, the truth of it. So I think uh, use precaution. Uh, that sounded a bit wrong. Use precaution in terms of uh, the type of roommate you're gonna live with, because you and him are kind of liable in the same way. So you need to behave like a normal citizen would. Uh, not, uh, you know, not throw too many parties, not be too loud, and then you'll be fine. You'll be 100% fine. Um, I, out of all, you know, I've been here five years and of all the people that actually have lived with someone, there's never been any incident or report that actually got in trouble for it. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I, guys. I don't want to tell you, yeah, to live with someone, you won't get in trouble, or I won't tell you you shouldn't live with someone because literally everybody's doing it. Uh, so I leave that up to you. I mean, um, I understand in the beginning it could be quite hard to to, to live on your own because it's, it's it's quite expensive to live here, uh, not as much as London or or you know or New York, but still it's, it's quite it's, it's expensive. So 